Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a casted game of Age of Empires 3, and we've got Mr. Bramboy with us today. Gonna be playing as the USA, one of his main civilizations. I've been seeing him play a lot of this civilization recently, going for this Delaware build with German tongue in the uh, in the start of the game. So we'll have to see if that's what he looks to do this game. But his opponent today spawning in on the north side of the map in the color red. It's going to be Shuffle playing as the Italians. Uh, the Italians to me still seem like a very, very strong civilization, especially when it comes to turtling. Like this civilization is... Is a little bit bonkers, but at the same point, USA also a very good civilization at the moment. In fact, these two civs here are the the civs that I've been struggling most with on the ladder, and maybe that's just because they're so unique, right? A lot of game knowledge can be translated when you're facing, let's say, against the French and against the the Brits, right? They're they're somewhat relatable, whereas these civilizations they're very unique. Uh, you've got to really, le really learn a play style against them. So we'll have to see what players look to do here. But Bram going to be sending in that German immigrants here. Which gives him a, uh, a homestead wagon. And also lets him train settlers. Uh, or settler wagons, sorry. So that's going to give him a nice eco advantage here. And I always find it funny here with, uh, with the USA when they go for this build. Because it just looks so funny having age 1 mills around your town center I, I just think it looks a little bit funny but it is actually really really good because something a lot of people don't realize is that mills give a lot of vision like let's check in with bram here let's see how much vision he gets from this i mean it's not that much but it's better <laughs> you get the point right if you've got a load of them around here you you dramatically increase your vision and the thing is you don't even need to keep these safe because you're going to have so many of them. And also, you're not going to be on them at this stage of the game anyway. You're going to be wanting to just, um, you know, you want to be gathering still from hunts and stuff. So, something to keep in mind there with the USA. But Shuffle, on the other hand, we see we've got Ajabs coming through. Bram going to be aging up with that Delaware like we were talking about. Shuffle yet to be aging up. So, uh, Bram's got a very early age up here. We see he's going for the uh, the 12 vil age up here. Which, oh, in, in fact, 11 vil age up. So, yeah, going for a very, very fast age up there. We see he does have a settler wagon, though. Uh, I believe. Where, where is that settler wagon at? Hello. Yes. Am I blind? I'm sure I saw one a second ago. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's heading towards uh, Shuffle's base. Okay, so Bram's going to be going for a proxy base here with a settler wagon. Uh, let's start check in with Shuffle because he's finally going to be aging up here with the governor. So, Bram... It's going to be going for a bit of a proxy base here. I mean, this map is a little bit tricky to proxy base with. Um, just because of this ice in the middle, right? You can't build on this ice. So the closest you can get is like here. Um, and that's way too close to the TC. So you wouldn't actually be able to build there. So you have to build it all the way over here, which can be a little bit annoying. I don't think it's the end of the world, but yeah, it's, it's something that can be a little bit annoying here and there. But Bram, we see... He's sending through the advanced homesteading, which gives him population on the mill, on the estates. And that's what that's what makes this build really, really strong. You don't have to build houses whatsoever, apart from like this first house. Uh, and then we've also got fertile lowlands coming in behind this, which is another two homestead wagons. And also a load of cows with a load of food on. So Bram's looking to go quite heavy into age two here. We see the first barracks is up with five regulars on the way. I wouldn't be surprised to see a second one coming down either. We see the flag is in place here for Bram as well. Yes. And the regular is going to be starting to head towards Shuffle Space, who is yet to age up. Or well, he's aging up, but he's uh, he hasn't hit that age up quite yet. And Bram's already in here with five villain or five regulars. Maybe able to pick off a vill here. I, I doubt it, but maybe if Bram's lucky. Yeah, Shuffle, he's on point there. Reacts in time, but the outpost wagon, that might be in a little bit of trouble here. We see getting focused down. Shuffle needs to get this down now. It, it's... Oh, okay, so one regular goes down. It w means it won't be able to be one shot. But we see here Bram chasing that outpost wagon. Second regular goes down. Temple set inside that TC. So these regulars do get two shots. So Bram using a lot of army right now. But it's idle time. It's a lot of idle time. So I think Bram's all right with that. But 
Yeah, better to get out of there before uh, before you lose any more. And Bill's still sitting inside there. And an architect. Shuffle, you need to get these out. This is huge idle time right now. And there we go. Finally, we're, we're, we're taking them out. But more and more regulars are on the way. We will, we'll take a look back in with the Bram and have a look at this. What a sight to see. And we can see here the vision. There we go. I, I believe it's because you're not in the, the correct age or... I, I'm not entirely sure, but there we can see the mills now give a ton of vision. So it makes it extremely hard to raid USA when, they, when they've when they got this sort of base. And, you know, that's just that's just great for USA, right? But taking a look back over here at a shuffle, what's he going to be uh, What's he gonna be doing here? We see he's, he's get, grabbing himself marriage politics here. Uh, he's got a card that he can send in. He's going to be sending in advanced politicians, which is going to give him uh, a fast age up. As well as, uh, is it more... Uh, your next age up is faster than all politicians ship extra extra rewards. Okay, so he's going for a, a little bit of a fast fortress here. And he's going to be looking to get a little bit more bonuses, a little bit more things from his age up, which is always nice to see. This uh, trading post will be going down low for shuffle, which is a little bit unfortunate. We see the explorer trying to... Uh... In fact, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? That explorer, 15, 15 attack. Yeah, that, that's that's quite a bit of damage. Uh, the basilica going to be coming down for him now. Going to be built by uh, by the architects, but it looks like he he may have bought the, you know, this isn't a free basilica right here. He may have bought that just because uh, that's taking not that long to construct. The shuffle hasn't actually spotted out the uh, this little proxy base yet. We see here another regular. We'll be going down to that explorer. That trading post is going to be going down. We see more and more units. Double barracks now down from Bram. What did he just send in there? Oh, he must have sent in uh, the... Yeah, the three TP. Yeah, so three trading posts, which is pretty huge. I mean, you've already got... Okay, so Bram hasn't... Okay, so... Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. You're going to be able to get all three trading posts here. So, one, two, three. And then... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be easy to defend this one, right, with your proxy base on the side here. And Shuffle's lost his as well, so... Yeah, this... Honestly, Bram's looking in a good spot here. But Shuffle, he's reached the next age. We see Covered Wagon has popped out. But Shuffle, you need to be careful here. We see Bram, he's going to be going for it. I mean, Shuffle, you need to just plonk this down somewhere. Okay. I think he should be all right. We see Bram just focusing down these Minutemen right here. Not a fight that he really wants to be taking, but looks like he's going to be taking anyway, sending in more of those regulars, trying to idle shuffle here, I would expect, on that TC. Town center now being constructed on the back here. We've got a <laughs> 1664, never forget. I love, love the name on the Explorer there. But the Explorer for shuffle going to be going down. Town center now going to be under quite a bit of pressure here. Bram should have some space at the back here. If he moves his units to here, he should be all right. And we see that town center taking a lot of damage right now. More and more regulars on the way for Bram. Shuffle, he's sending in two Falconets right here. He might be able to get a nice pop here and uh, and try and kill those, uh, those regulars. But this town center taking a lot of damage. It's going to be up in time though. Maybe Minutemen can be cooled. There we go. Town Center and Minutemen being called at the same time. Falcon has been called over here for some reason. That seems like a little bit of a mistake. I think over here would have been the better call because look, Bram could just go into melee mode here. Going to be taking out the first Falcon at second one. Looks like it will be all right, but that first one going down is quite a quite a quite a hit to the uh, quite a hit to the military right there for Shuffle. But Bram loses his whole army, which he's got more on the way. Ten more or nine more units. It looks like that. Yeah, nine more units. As well as three more heading back from the the west side. So now Shuffle is going to be ascending through that four wagon. Okay, so another TC also going to be going down. So three TCs here for Shuffle. Going extremely greedy, but, you know, we talked about this earlier. The Italians, they can just turtle so damn well. And this fort is part of the reason, right? The Italians, they, they love to fort spam. They love to drop down town centers, and they can do it for free with the architects. But it looks like Bram's going to be heading forward now. The wagon, the fort wagon. Uh-oh, that may be going down. Look at the amount of regulars here for Bram. He's even bringing the settler wagon. The settler wagon's getting in on the action here. The falcon air going to be going down. The Minutemen going to be going down. And this fort, Bram, you need to focus down this fort. 
Explorer is in melee mode. So it's going to be snaring these units every second that Shuffle can buy here. Getting this fort up is going to be is going to be helpful for him. But that that Explorer goes down. The next fort is being constructed. Look at this. The fort spam is underway for Shuffle. I, is this fort going to get up? I don't think it does. Shuffle doesn't have any other units here. He's called both Minutemen. He's going to be getting up this. Look how fast that fort goes up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so this fort goes down, but this one gets up, and it's got a town center next to it. There we go. The fort goes up. Is Bram going to be committing to taking down this fort? It looks like he is. He's going to be taking a ton of damage from it, though, especially when you've got all your units clumped up like this. Uh, I think it would be worth just, like, peeling a few of them back here and, and then attacking just because you're going to be taking a lot of area of effect damage. Uh, as we can see there. So, Bram is going to be retreating back. We see that fort. We got another fort. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy right here. The the Italians doing what the Italians do best uh, with their forts. But, I mean, this could be three forts. I mean, that, that's pretty crazy. And we got three TCs here as well. So, Shuffle, you know, he's going to be head on Eco right now. He's 34 to 32. Bram is on uh, one TC, but he does have these Settler Wagons. So, you know, that that's sort of why they're so close to each other. And Shuffle hasn't had these... What? 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 Why? Why did Shuffle do that? I am so confused right now. Why did he delete? Was that a myth? Did he mean to delete, delete the TC or something? I am... I am very curious as to why he did that. But Bram going to be moving in now. Looking to take out this TC. Let's see if Shuffle has any units on the way. Doesn't look like it. He's got like the uh, the halberd is here. Maybe able to siege down a, uh, a barracks. Oh, this is why. Okay, so Shuffle, instead of, uh, in, you know, instead of keeping the second fort over here, he deletes it and builds it down here instead, guarding this hunt. Oh, that's actually kind of huge. I mean, Bram does have the mills, but obviously mills not as efficient as uh, as hunts. So Shuffle just going to be building this fort here. Honestly, I would love to see a villager coming down here as, oh, okay, there are the villagers. There they are. They're just going to be taking all of this food for himself. This this map doesn't have that much food on it. And this is a huge amount of food here that Shuffle is going to be denying away from Bram. Obviously, Bram does have the mills, but it's not as efficient. Shuffle going to be getting himself two Falconettes here. Should be able to defend against this. We see Tower and Town Center going to be helping out here with the three Falconettes on the back line as well. Villagers may be able to body block as well. Do we have great coats in? I don't think we've... Oh, wait, no, we do have a market. Um... Yeah, we do have great cards in. Okay. So it looks like Shuffle is going to be able to hold there. Huge amount of losses there for Bram. Bram sticking it out in H2 here. We see sending through military dramas as he's got through that card. Where is it? There it is. A Springfield Armory. Which means you get all of the all of those juicy uh, upgrades for free. Um, But obviously you have to wait a long time for it. I believe that's the case anyway. Yeah, it will become free and takes longer. And Bram going to be behind that. Sending through Virginia General Assembly. So I think he's looking for an age up now, possibly. I mean, the macro looks like it, but he's kind of still spending a lot of his of his resources on just regulars. So maybe not the case. Maybe he's just planning for the future. But we see here, Bram. Oh, no. He's moving out and he's realized, oh, all my food's been taken. And this is terrible for Bram. I mean, he's got a few hunts over here he could take. But that's that's a long way out. And I, I mean, yeah, it's the only choice that Bram has without going onto the mills. We see he does have some uh, fully fattened cows. So have a look at that. Six cows, 500 food each. That's 3,000 food right there. That's a lot. Oh, Bram. No. <laughs> oh, Bram. No. The fort. Oh, it one tapped it. No. Oh, poor Bram, man. That, that feels really bad. And now, you know, he's coming in for revenge. He's like, okay, this fort, it needs to go. I want my food back. These villagers going to be going down as they hop into that fort. More and more regulars on the way. That fort still standing strong on the, the front line of the base here. So, and we see another TC as well. Oh, my goodness. We've got four TCs right here. One, This one did get taken down in the back. But Shuffle's eco right now. Going to be looking extremely strong as we see here. Falconets are out for shuffle they're back here minutemen also get called do we have a pop coming out from here as well yes we do we got some uh trabants which are uh oh we've got paypal guard here as well okay so these are coming out from the the native post 
So it looks like Shuffle's just going for that Pikeman, Pikeman Falconet composition here. And honestly, he's looking in a good spot. That fort is still standing strong. I mean, this just looks so hard to push, right? We got fort here, fort here, four TCs. Uh, oh, okay. Well, three TCs. This one has been deleted for some reason. But still, three TCs. We're at 48 bills compared to 35. Bram, he's been losing quite a few bills as well. Oh, no. The native post going to get taken out here. We got... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, I'll be honest. But I think he does get that through in time, though. But we see here Shuffle going to be taking out some more Vils. Vils can, are going to be pulled here, though. This is honestly smart from Bram because villagers have siege damage or they have bonus versus siege. You need to get them into melee mode, though. You, you can't have them shooting here. You need to get these guys into melee mode. We see there some of them are going to be going down. And Bram, you know, he's got enough of an army here to where he can just shoot them with the regulars. But he's going to be losing quite a bit of army here, though. Not the end of the world. I think this is worth it. Especially when you're taking out units like the PayPal guard here. So honestly, I think that's worth it. But builds are going to be going down. Bram back to 32 builds compared to the 53. That is bonkers right there. The, the rate at which Shuffle is producing villagers is... It's very, very fast. Now we've got Alab Alabanian Company. Which sends in the four Bosniaks and four Stradiots. Which is going to be really nice for raiding here. As we see Bram, he's, he's kind of spread out on the map now. Just because he's been denied away from the hunts. So having having this cavalry here is going to be really, really useful. Just to try and, you know, de deny Bram away from this gold. Uh, as Bram does have gold in the base here. But it's uh, a little bit close to the fort. And also you probably want to be using this up while you still have access to it. But Bram is going to be having issues soon when it comes to gold. As uh, these are the only two gold mines left, and this one's about to run out. Whereas uh, we see here, Shuffle, he's still got this one. He's got this one. He's got this uh, this one here. So, you know, Shuffle is doing absolutely fine when it comes to gold. But Bram may have a little bit of an issue as we see Shuffle's looking for the age up now. Bram might be coming in at the perfect time here. That fort may be going down. We got, oh my goodness, look at this. We got outpost spam here. And a fort. Okay. Well, that. <laughs> Uh, the fort got deleted over here as well. Okay, interesting. So I guess Shuffle just really wants to get this up super fast. Only 22 seconds to get this one up. And the age fort is coming through behind us with the engineer, which I believe is the fort. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the fort, which is pretty funny. But we see, you know, outposts. I would love to see the outpost upgrade coming in here from uh, from Shuffle. Uh, Bram is in the ex in the next stage, by the way, if uh, if I forgot to mention. And we see here, uh oh, that is huge. Look at the amount of bills that are going to get taken out here. We've got Australia's, we've got Bosniaks. Only only a few regulars here for Bram. I mean, Bram's pushing in over here, but the fort is up. Minutemen get called. TC Fire going to be helping out. Outpost. That's not a fight Bram is going to be able to take here. And Shuffle, it looks like he is going to be losing quite a bit of his cavalry. But the amount of bills. Oh my god, Bram's down. He's down to 12 bills. Bram is down to 12 vils. Shuffle on 63. And the thing is for Bram, he's not going to be able to push this whatsoever. I mean, Shuffle, he's going to be reaching that next age soon. He's going to be, I think, getting another fort in with that. I mean, Shuffle still actually managed to escape here with three Bosniaks and a Stradiot. Which, yeah, that that's looking rough. Shuffle, he's got six times the economy. Or it's probably five times the economy of, of, uh, of Bram right now. The TC will be going down, but... I've got to really ask the question, is, is that TC going to be enough? And the answer to that is is definitely no. And there we go, Shuffle. He reaches that next stage. It must have been uh, two Falconets then on that age up. But there it is. The GG is called. Shuffle wins with the fort spam as we see another fort. Uh, oh, it looks like it was just a, a glitch on the minimap. Okay, never mind. But the fort spam from Shuffle is victorious here. Bram, unfortunately, does not defeat the force spam but if you did enjoy this game consider subscribing leave a like and i catch you guys in the next one